Hi, this is my drum set. I'm Louis, and welcome to a new video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how I rearrange my altar. I'm gonna be showing you how I change um, my candles, how I dispose of my old offerings, how I just kind of tidy up a bit and clean a little bit. And I hope this is interesting and you like it. And I'm excited to be showing you what my altar looks like because I'm in love with it. Right now, it looks like a mess. But it's gonna look cute by the end of this video. So, I guess... Let's do it. And yeah, I'm sorry I don't look so good. I'm not wearing that much makeup. I just put on a little bit of concealer because I have really like dark under eye bags. But yeah, I didn't put on makeup over my acne. Can you call this acne or is this just like a breakout? I don't know. I've never dealt with anything like this in my 27 years of life, but now I do. But it's okay, we're still, we're still queens, we're still shining, we just have acne. Okay, so this is my altar, and I know those flowers are dead. I need to throw them away and change them for new ones, so try to, like, ignore that. But, yeah, this is my altar. This is uh, my Apollo, um candle that's for my spirit guides for my wife's spirit guides and this is for artemis this is my offering for the autumn equinox and yeah i have a couple of things i have like things for the what's it called the elements earth water um air and fire and yeah, there, it's really small, as you can see, I have a small apartment. I don't have that much space to have a really big altar, so I just work with what I have. I have it in the, the window. And yeah, so let's dismantle everything first. <laughs> Now, one question that a lot of beginner witches have, which I had as well, um, is how do I dispose of candles and old offerings? I've seen some people that say, oh, you have to um, bury it. You have to make like a ritual to get rid of them. So this is what I do. And I don't know if it's, um, what's the word? This word. But I just throw it away this was artemis's candle it's not her candle anymore it just was an offering you know um as long as you keep taking care of your altar and you keep giving new offerings i think that's what they care about you know what can be recycled i definitely recycle it so for example um, this lime looks old. I don't think I will be like using it for food anymore, but this apple looks in good condition so I can either put it in the offerings again or eat it. That's okay. You can eat it, you know, just replace your offerings and be respectful, definitely. In this clip, you'll be seeing how I start to set up my altar and I'm going to show you how I symbolize um, the elements of earth fire and water on my altar um, by using this plant some candles and some moon water however i forgot to show you how i symbolize the element of air and for that i use a candle but you will be seeing that later on the video next are my crystals those are all of my crystal collection that goes on my altar there and then my divination tools this is my tarot deck it's really cute i got it from urban outfit i have this oracle card deck and i have this pendulum i got it from amazon 
then I have these two um, spell jars. This one is a protection jar for someone I love. And this is a money jar. Now for protection, I have salt. I have three different salts. Um, pink Himalayan salt, normal table salt, and black salt. Um, so black is to banish bad energies. Pink is to take care of the household, like the like the marriage, that there's no infidelities, that no people trying to hurt our marriage, stuff like that. And white is just for protection. And then I have this pentacle that I just made myself with clay. So I think it's cute. I have this painting that I made for Apollo. It's really tiny. Anyway, this is a painting that I did for Artemis. Now this amethyst belongs to my spirit guides. This jade belongs to my wife's spirit guides. This sunstone and this calcite belong to Apollo. And for Artemis, I have this beautiful eunuchite. <laughs> I don't know. And this um, pearls, which whenever I'm feeling down or I need some extra support, I like to wear them. And there's the bell I told you about earlier. I don't have that much space on my phone, so let's do this quick. Now go with the offerings. I'm using this little bowl again for the offerings. I cleaned it. So we have an orange, a lime, some bay leaves, an apple, some cinnamon sticks, and some mugwort for Artemis. This is what their offering looks like, and now the candles. This is what my altar looks like now, and now I have to end the video because my-